begin tonight with news from our state capital. Less than two weeks since Tropical Storm Hillary slammed much of California, and just months after the state saw record-setting flooding, Senator Alex Padilla is out tonight with a new proposal he says will greatly help the Valley's agriculture industry recover from the storm damage left behind. 17's Capital Correspondent Aton Wallace spoke with Padilla today and has details on his proposal. Senator Alex Padilla visiting the Davis Ranch in East Sacramento County. Grown here, all kinds of fresh produce from corn to watermelon to a wide variety of vegetables. Padilla came to the farm to lead this round table with local growers. <laughs> While there were some laughs, Padilla met with this group to announce an effort he says is very serious, specifically a proposal he's authored to streamline and improve the process for farmers to apply for and receive federal agricultural funding and programs amid disasters including most recently Tropical Storm Hillary, and before that, a series of atmospheric rivers and floods to hit the state. It certainly hasn't been cheap and easy historically to meet the food needs of the nation, and it seems that our changing climate is only making it more and more challenging. Yet, our federal disaster safety net programs don't account for the realities facing farmers today. Farmers like Rick Rimshaw, one of the owners of Davis Ranch. Record rains earlier this year flooded several of his fields as seen in this recording Grimshaw shared with us. Never had that much water come down. So when it got down to us, it went over the tops of the levees by about a foot. And it was washing everywhere, washing the levees away, washing the fields away. So he sought out the U.S. Department of Agriculture's help and applied for financial assistance. 30 years of farming and we've never asked for a handout or anything from any of government. This time we need help and we went to the USDA to get it. But he says months later, federal assistance has yet to come. It's stories like these why Padilla wants his proposal to be included in the 2023 federal farm bill, a major package of investments Congress authorizes every five years. What goes into that legislation could have major implications for the agricultural industry and ultimately what you buy at the supermarket. All the more so why Padilla says his bill is needed. A lot of ordinary farmers are denied help in time of crisis. Whatever we can do to, to protect uh, the fields, you know, I'm open for it. And Padilla says his proposal has widespread bipartisan support among his Senate colleagues. But remember, his is a small portion of a much larger farm bill for which negotiations are still taking place. The congressional deadline to pass that farm bill, September 30th. Reporting from Sacramento County, Aton Wallace, 17 News.